Okay, the purpose of the next tutorial is to learn how to use constraints. Uh, the point, orient, and aim constraint. There's also a vector constraint, which I'm not going to go over right now. I'll go over that a little bit later. Uh, we're also going to learn how to use the all-important set-driven keys. It's extremely useful. Okay, um, what I would do, I have a worksheet for you that asks you to define point constraint, orient constraint, and aim constraint. I'm going to talk you through these, but I would suggest pausing the video and writing th these down where the proper answer should go. Point constraint. One object translates with another object. That's all it is. Orient constraint. One object follows another's, another object's rotation. An aim constraint is one object, quote unquote, looks at another object. Very useful when we're dealing with eyes. Okay, what's set driven keys? Well, you have a driver object. For example, if you were driving a car and steering the wheel, you know, the, the wheels follow. So you, you have a steering wheel and you steer. And then the wheels, your front wheels, follow the rotation of your steering wheel. So the steering wheel is the driver, and the driven are the front wheels. We're actually going to go through and set that up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first thing I want you to do is let's go ahead and create two objects. Just to see how these things work. Create two spheres. All right. and make them do this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to face mode. Actually, we're going to go to object mode. Assign a new material to these things. Make it a fong. And make the fong white. Okay? So how did I do that? I'll do it again. I right click, go down to assign new material. I'm holding down the right click the whole time. Fong. And then just drag that left and then right. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to face mode and I'm going to take my paintbrush and just highlight these faces. Now I'm going to assign the material again. Fong and I'm going to make these black. So you can see that looks like an eyeball. See? There you go. And I'm going to do that here as well. Take my paintbrush. Highlight these. Assign new material, fong, and just uh, scroll that over. Okay, I missed a face in here, so highlight that face, assign existing material. Okay, there you go. Okay, now we're going to make a, a name constraint. So, I'm just going to create a NURBS circle. I'm going to create a big NURB circle here. Create NURB primitive circle. And I'm going to rotate it. Go to my channel box. 90 degrees. And I'm going to center it in the middle of the eye. Here. I'm going to go to front view. Actually, side view. That's good. Okay. Now what I'll do here, highlight this. Shift in that. And then go to constrain, aim. I did that the wrong way. Select this one, then that one. Okay. We're going to uh, put a little parameter there first. So, constrain, aim, option, maintain offset. And let's go ahead and constrain. We want to, let's see which way this is looking. That's x-axis. So we want to constrain, yeah, we'll say all. Let's see how this works. Oh, I went the wrong way again. Constrain aim. OK. See that? When you maintain the offset, it works. So let's go ahead and do that for the other eye as well. Constrain aim. See that? Tick tock, tick tock. 
top. So you could animate this like this. Check it out. If I go to here and press S, then go over to here. And remember to go down there, go to 9, then go back to here. Let's look up. Whoop, let's go to 15. Hit S and hit play. So I could follow objects now across the room. Okay, that's a name constraint. So you want to select the um, the object first that you're going to constrain, and then select the object that's getting constrained. So select the the circle, then the eye. Okay, that's that's all you do there. Okay, real quick, we're just going to go over orient and point. So you just create a sphere. We could ignore this for now. And just uh, go to assign new material. We're going to go to Fong again. We're going to go to this checkerboard. And we're going to make that a checker. Okay. And let's do another sphere. And what we're going to do is we're going to select this. And then we're going to go to Constrain, um, Orient. Check this out. When I grab this, this one now rotates together. But, which is really neat, is they don't move together. You're going to use that more in the reverse foot control, but that's all it does. And then we're going to do one more. I'm actually going to go ahead and duplicate this thing. And you'll notice when I duplicate it, it won't work. You know, that this, this one won't follow. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and select this and go to Constrain Point. Well, Control Z. Do this again. Constrain Point Option. And we always want to go to uh, Maintain Offset. Make sure you do that. Maintain Offset. Now watch. Now when I move this one around, see that? The ball moves. But it doesn't affect this one. It's not grouping. If I rotate this, though, see that one won't rotate with it. I could throw another texture on so you could see that. See this? It doesn't rotate. This one follows, but this one doesn't because it's point. Point moves like this. That's it. That's point. Orient. And aim. There you go. That's it.